Fossil preparation is the process of cleaning the rock away from the fossil to either make it ready for display, or scientific research, or both. Fossils very rarely come out of the ground looking perfect, so chances are, every time you see a fossil in a museum, or a shop, or even on your own mantelpiece, there's a lot of work that's gone into cleaning it. You might go out on the beach and find a nodule that looks like this, but when prepped, it can look like this. The best bit is that fossil preparation isn't something that's restricted to just museums and laboratories. It's something you can do at home too. All fossil preparation methods exploit a weakness between the fossil and the rock, or the matrix. We can either use mechanical, physical force, or chemical methods to do this. The most common method is mechanical preparation, typically using pneumatic or compressed air-powered tools. In the past, Mary Anning would have used a hammer and chisel, but we have much more specialist equipment available to us now. Air pens or air scribes designed for the job are the most common specialist tools you'll find in most people's workshops. These behave a bit like miniature jackhammers, which you can use to accurately chip away the rock. Some pens are designed to remove lots of matrix at a time, and others are designed for the most detailed work, and some fit somewhere in the middle as all-rounders. Possibly one of the hardest things to achieve, the idea is to remove the matrix without actually touching the fossil underneath, which could damage it. Best case scenario, you've got rock that just pops away from the fossil and leaves a lovely, clean, smooth surface underneath. Now, some fossils are a bit more problematic and collectors describe them as sticky when the matrix doesn't come away cleanly, and others are very fragile and have features that could be damaged by the vibration of an air pen. Fossil preparators use micro sandblasters, known as air abrasives, to shoot very fine powder held in a stream of compressed air at the fossil, which slowly, carefully, and evenly removes the rock. It looks a bit like it's dissolving, but it's actually just being cut away as dust. So now we come to actually dissolving the rock. Chemical methods of preparation require a great deal of care in terms of your own safety and that of the fossil. Some rocks, but not all, will react with and either dissolve or disintegrate in some acids and alkalis. Where chemical preparation works, it can remove the rock and leave exquisite detail of the fossil underneath. It usually takes place over the course of many days, weeks, months, or in some cases years, and so a little patience is required. It can provide results unequal to any other, but this requires a great deal of experience and cooperative fossils. Getting started in fossil prep is easy. Most preparators are self-taught and there are very helpful online forums, Facebook groups and communities to ask for help when you need it. If you want to test the waters, a Dremel 290 is a great place to start. It's a corded electric engraver and when fitted with Zoic Paleotech fossil preparation styli, it can be used to prepare fossils. It's not as comfortable nor as powerful as an air pen, but it's a great option for a beginner on a shoestring budget. If you already know you're going to enjoy fossil preparation, and you have a little bit of space set aside, maybe a garden shed, it's worth jumping in the deep end with an air pen and an air compressor. We've developed the Zoic Paleotech Trilobite as an entry-level affordable air pen, available as part of a plug-in and play kit with full instructions. As you advance, we have our own range of handmade professional air pens designed to give you more power, more precision, and more flexibility to work with different rock types. The key to top quality preparation is good experience and good tooling. It's important to be safe when preparing fossils. Safety glasses are essential. Rock chips can turn into flying projectiles very easily. You will also need an FFP3 dust mask or a respirator. No, not one of those masks you have to wear in the shops, but genuinely a protective mask. Rock dust is extremely fine and can play havoc with the lungs. Visit our website to learn more about fossil preparation and fossil preparation tools at www.zoicpaleotech.co.uk.